Hello and welcome to another Respond training video. My name is Rich Winter, EDI Analyst of TriTech Software Systems representing Respond Billing Product. In this training video we will be featuring the Plex Report Generator and printing a report. Uh, the Plex Report Generator print is uh, located in Reports and under Flexible Report Generator. In the background we have the report we've previously worked with and what I want to do is I want to print that report so we're going to first then give this uh, store parameters a name called call report um, as we tab down we're next going to find uh, we need to load that report and the report that we have is right here click on it okay and um, we're going to do the HIPAA counting. We'll just use TPO. And, and below here is legs uh, was one record or leg per record. That means if you want to uh, call, put your get your report, but separate them by legs, you can do that. But in this case, I want to keep all my legs in one uh, line, so we don't so we have a total of one call. So the next button is uh, call detail filters. Um, if I printed this report right now, obviously I'd get every call in the database. Uh, right now what I'm trying to do is I just want to have uh, last year's uh, calls uh, for my report. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab call date and drop it into this line right below where it says include records where. And the format is it's pretty simple. We'll leave that alone. Now, there's certain operators, simple uh, arithmetic uh, answers here. What we'll do is we're going to go in between a date range, and we'll just say um, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 6, and we'll hit our tab key and go 12, 3, 1, 2, 0, 1, 6. And we'll accept that into the grid above. And we'll click OK. Um, as we go down, uh, there's other um, options to use, uh, print filters, uh, detail sort, special sort. Um, we will get into a little of that a little bit later. Um, and plus there's detail and summary. That's another issue where we'll talk about in another video. Uh, we have it set to preview, and obviously the report goes to a certain printer and that's pretty standard with all our reports. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and print and we should see this same report come up in a print screen. And the uh, reason report recipient is missing, uh, we'll just continue anyway. That's a HIPAA issue. We're not worried about that right now. And as the report comes across, there is what we have created before. Um, I see there's a few things that that report needs to be changed. One thing is that I'm noticing zero balance calls in here. I don't really care to see those zero balances. I just want to know what calls are out there that still have a, a balance to them. So what I'll do is I'll close this screen, go back to the call detail filters, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the balance object, drop it in here, and I'm going, the parameters are, are fine. They usually default to what I want it to do. And what I'm going to say here is I want it to be greater than zero. And I'll accept that. So now I have two different operators up here telling me what I want the report to do. So we'll click OK. And we'll print again. Click yes. Now you notice that that zero balance call has is, is, is disappeared, most of them, all of them. So the other thing I want to do is I want to clean up the report a little bit. I see I'm like chopping off letters here and whatnot, and I got extra lines that I don't need. So I'm going to close this and go back to the original report. And we see that a lot of these, like these boxes here, look like they've been chopped off. So I'm going to make a little room for this. There's plenty of room on the side of the paper. I'm just going to uh, left click and drag the object box over line them up as well as I can. Same thing with the total the footers. Um, 
going to also now widen this box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, you see the cross arrows here on that corner of this box. I'm going to hold it over that, hold my left key down on my key on my mouse and drag it over a couple so this box opens up. We'll do the same thing for this and drag over here. Charge total, do the same thing, drag it over, widen it some. Okay, and then obviously line up these boxes below here. All right, now I notice I got some extra lines in between here. I'd like to see a little bit closer so it's a little easier to read. So we're going to, again, with using the double arrows to right, left click and drag that band up. And we'll do the same thing with this band. So we have everything uh, together. So now we need to save this report. So it won't work until we save it. Let's click yes, go back to this report here and print. And now the report is much cleaner. Everything's worn together. Uh, a little bit of lining problem here, but that can be fixed. Um, there's one thing that I noticed that this line doesn't really mean much unless you give it some kind of a name. So what I can do here is to go to this uh, footer there's one or two ways I can do this. I'll widen this out. I can insert a line here and just type in the word totals. And um, there may be a space so we keep this, the numbers away from each other so it don't butt up too close together. And then we'll just click OK. I seen this was a little bit off kilter, so we'll slide that over, save it, yes, and we'll print again. And there, now we have a line that tells you what these whole bottom line are, it's just the totals of things. Okay, um, that completes the presentation. Oh, I forgot one other thing, excuse me. I forgot to save my parameters. The one thing you want to do is to go up here into the file and save as parameters and it's called call report click OK and then you, you will have that next time you go in here to print to here you see now this call report has been saved so now that concludes the presentation of how to print reports for using the report generator thank you for watching the video today and if you have any questions please call respond, respond customer service have a great day